Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So as you can see, we are still talking about teaching speaking. So in the previous episode, we talked about teaching speaking. In number one, we talked about some skills, some activities that a teacher can use in the speaking class. In episode number two, we talked about some, we can say, issues, very common issues in teaching speaking, like fluency and accuracy. In this episode, we are going to go to the classroom to the implementation of the teaching speaking. So we are going to see how we can teach speaking lesson in the classroom. This lesson is much more practical and can help you make a lesson plan for a speaking lesson, okay? So this is very important for all those who want to apply for the teaching profession in the public sector or in private sector. So here in this episode, we are going to see three very essential steps or stages that we can follow in order to teach speaking lesson. The first one we have to start with is to determine the goals. This is number one. So you cannot start teaching a speaking lesson if you did not precise, if you did not determine the goals of this lesson. Now to determine, to determine the goals of the speaking lesson, you have to take into consideration a lot of things and you have to answer a lot of questions. Like for example, what are the uh, speaking skills we can say? The speaking skills you want your student to focus on. You can also say whether you want to focus on accuracy or fluency. You also have to determine whether you want to teach, for example, small talks or conversation, for instance, small talks or conversations or dialogues or whatever. So you have to answer these questions. What are you going to do and what are you going to focus on? So this is what we mean by determining goals of the speaking lesson. What are you going to focus on and what are you going to teach? This is very important. Something very essential that we have to consider and you have to consider while determining the goal is related to needs, students' needs. And when I say student needs, which means you should be aware of your student and the student needs why they need this speaking lesson. For example, if you are teaching a group of students who would use English for answering phones or uh, receiving people. So your the focus of or the speaking skills should be related to what your student need the English for. So that's what we mean by needs. And that's something that we can consider as needs analysis. So before you determine the goals, you should conduct a needs analysis, either directly or indirectly. So your knowledge about student can help you determine the goals of this class. So this is very important. Step number one is to determine goals, is to know your student, what they need the English for. And when you know what your student need English for, you can determine whether you, what kind of speaking skills you focus on or whether you focus on accuracy or fluency and also what kind of activities you include. Is it small talks? Is it, is it kind of conversations, dialogues, whatever? So when we determine the goals, we go to step number two, that's the implementation of the lesson. And that's something we can consider it as classroom activities. So we move to the classroom. So classroom activities can be different, like for example, dialogue work, like information gap, describe, describing picture, like also jigsaw activities, like jigsaw reading, for instance, and role play and so on and so forth. So these are kind of activities that you can use in the classroom for teaching speaking. By the way, this is not enough. This is just an idea about teaching speaking. More importantly, when we talk about classroom activities, you have to take into consideration the skills, the speaking skills that students need in each activity. Later on, we are going to see the phases or the steps that we can follow in the teaching activities. So you can use them in lesson plan. The last one is what we call assessment, okay? Is what we call assessment, how to assess the speaking. The first thing you have to do, the first thing you have to do is to determine the type of speaking or the types 
of speaking you want to assess. Are you going to assess, for example, small dialogue, small talks or conversation or maybe discussion or transactions, etc.? What are you going to assess? So you first of all, you have to determine the types of speaking you want to assess. This is number one. Number two, you should also mention the skills or determine the skills that you want to assess. For example, in conversation or in dialogue or in small talks, what are the skills you want to focus on? For example, turn taking, turn maintaining, asking questions, answering, using expressions, etc. These are some skills that you can focus on in these types of of speaking and the last one you can determine or you can develop a kind of rating scale and when i say rating scale which means you have to develop a scale so the the skills you determine the skills you want to focus on in a form of a chart okay the skills so here we have the skills and here we have the scale okay the the scale for example from low to high okay from low to high okay so for example zero one two three four so for example if student masters asking questions so if student has this skill of asking questions very high so we can write here four for example or maybe you tick four or you tick two it depends on how you make this scale so this is a way of assessing the speaking skill so first of all first of all you have to determine the type of speaking you want to assess the skills involved in that type of speaking and the last one you can you can develop a rating scale from low to high in order to give remarks and to be more precise in uh, assessing your student in this skill in the speaking skills okay now let's go back again to the classroom activities so when we we have a lot of activities that we can use now let's talk about some stages in the classroom we can talk about the pre okay we can talk about the while and we can talk about the post so these are stages that you can follow to teach speaking lesson now the first one we will talk about the pre the pre has something to do with two things so the first one is to uh, raise student attention student attention to a uh, speaking lesson so students should know that they are going to study the speaking and they have to speak and they have to express themselves and they should not be shy they should not uh, be silent it is a speaking lesson so students should be aware of this to be Speakers, they are going to speak, they are going to ask questions, they are going to converse, they are going to ask and answer questions. So that's that speaking. Another thing very important is the pre-teaching. So this is what we can consider it as pre-teaching. And when we say pre-teaching, which means that you can pre-teach some words, some expressions, some vocabulary related to the topic maybe student are discussing okay for example if students are discussing topics about uh, I don't know environment so it's better to pre-teach to pre-teach some words some expressions related to environment if students are going to uh, discuss something to do with I don't know something to do with maybe globalization for example this you have to include or you have to pre-teach some words to your students that have to do with the globalization. globalization. So that's very important. So pre-teaching is very important because you equip students with some keywords, some technical terms, some words or expressions that will help them speak later on. So this is for raising student attention to the lesson and pre-teaching. This is number one, pre, pre we can say speaking. While speaking, we are talking about the implementation of, of, of the activities. So students are going to do the activities and while they are doing the activities, they are going to speak. They will be speaking. So you encourage students to speak and your role in the classroom is to monitor, is to move around and see and try to listen whether students are speaking, what are they speak, using English or their mother tongue, etc. So it is very important to check whether students are speaking or silent, whether they are taking turn, etc. So this is up to you to check, to monitor the classroom. So students will be speaking. And something very important here to consider while uh, speaking is to repeat. You can ask students to repeat, repeat the activity or repeat the task. Why? Very simply, because repetition, as we said before, it 
encourages and it develops, it enhances what we call fluency. Okay, the last one, post. So students can reflect, can reflect on what they have been talking about, what they learned in the lesson, and also feedback. So teacher can give feedback. So when the teacher was moving around the classroom, perhaps he collected a lot of data, for example, some errors or mistakes the student repeat. So the teacher can give feedback about that at the end. Okay. So these are the three stages that you can flow in teaching speaking in implementing activities in the classroom. So number one, the pre, raising student attention to the lesson. It is speaking lesson, not reading, not listening, and pre-teaching, pre-teach some vocabulary, some words. While speaking, students speak and repeat. The teacher just moves around to check, to hear, to monitor. And post-speaking post -speak, is something to do with reflection, so students can reflect about what they learned. And this is something that you can do by eliciting from students. And also feedback, so the teacher can give feedback at the end. So this is what you can take into consideration while pre, while, and post. Okay, so these are the three big stages that you can Consider, you can take into account while teaching and speaking, determine the goals, classroom activities, and assessment. I hope you find this lesson easy to understand. I hope you find it beneficial. If you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to let me know. See you in another episode, in another lesson. Have a good time and goodbye.